Thank you very much. Um, what a wonderful evening. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Thank you very much for coming. We're very, very nearly at the end. Um, firstly, can I get a massive round of applause for everybody who's been on the stage this evening? It's been such an illuminating event. So thank you very, very, very much. I appreciate it. Um, the lovely people at Hay have asked me just to close with a few remarks about what my sort of take on the world of difference. I know you all need to get up. I know you all need a wee. Please listen and smile at me for two more minutes. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Give yourselves a round of applause because you've been a wonderful audience. Thank you so much for being here. I think the theme of the theme of tonight's um, event is so sort of pertinent to where we are now, right? Because I, I I lived in Cardiff for sort of 20 years, moved away for a bit, and I think it took me to sort of move away to realise how sort of proud of my of my hometown of Cardiff and my country of Wales, and I really really mean that. My kids go to um, uh, my, I'm, my wife. I'm straight, by the way. My um, I, I know I was surprised as well, and it's. <laughs> Take your time. And uh, we, met, we met in school, me and my wife, which I think is quite sweet, quite nice. I know, she was the dinner lady. Um, just <laughs> silly jokes at the end of the show, why not? Seems to sort of ruin the entire thing, but why not? Um, uh, <laughs> um, my kids go to a Welsh language primary school. I, I'm, I'm learning Gudda Duolingo and, um, uh, by a passive-aggressive owl. And, um, um, and, I, and the, they're already fluent. My kids are seven and four. They're already smarter than me at that. And I absolutely love it. The first day I dropped my son off, one of the Welsh-speaking mums said to me, do you speak any Welsh? So I said, mm, Petit pois, petit pois. I mean, I mean, it's not very much. Um, and uh, <laughs> my son, they are so different, those two kids as well. My son is seven. It was his birthday on Thursday, for World, uh, on the same day as World Book Day. So he went to school on his birthday as Willy Wonka. And I think I'm just going to make that a tradition now on his birthday every single year. Even in the third year of university, I'll make him dress up as Willy Wonka. Little cane, little hat. Love that for him. He's a real sweetheart. He's a sensitive little boy. We've basically raised like a little Ed Miller band. He's adorable. Comes out of the womb like, hell oh, yeah, it's great. Bacon everywhere. Um, and uh, my daughter, on the other hand, she's uh, she's four. We really wanted to raise like a strong, independent woman, and I'm delighted to say that she's one of the most violent children I've ever met in my life. <laughs> she's an absolute thug, and she scares me every day. She's she's tamped, mate. She's hectic. She um, she has Liz Truss energy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> She <laughs> too soon? Okay, sure. Um, she's wild. The other day, she threw her breakfast on the floor in front of me, threw her bowl of porridge on the floor, looks at me in the eyes and goes, ooh la la. <laughs> Love that. Love that for you, Baba. Yes, please. Um, we've been walking around Roth Park a lot recently, and she's, and she's learning to read. And she's been, become obsessed with the, the park benches that have memorial signs on. And she's asking Daddy, what, what are those? And we, have, we started talking about death, which is, I don't want to sort of build up a complex in her head, so we've been quite honest about it. But now what she does is she just walks through these parks just going, dead, dead, dead. <laughs> Very weird. I like her a lot. I think she's going to be very, very good. Um, my son, um, the, the, the first time I, I definitely realised there was sort of um, uh, a lot of difference within the parenting world is when my, um, when my son was little, I used to take him to these baby classes and I was exclusively the only dad in the room there. And I used to get so much praise and attention from the other mums, right? And I loved it. I loved it so much. A lady once said to me, my husband would never come to a place like this. I was like, oh, your husband sounds like a prick. Um, <laughs> Love it. Anyway, um, uh, I'll leave you on this. Um, so um, uh, the uh, you can absolutely go and get some books over there. There is now a sort of like informal signing thing. Do some mingling. The bar is still open. Can I get another round of applause for yourselves? You've been an absolute tips up audience. All the speakers, another round of applause as well. All the people putting in the hard work, the staff and Hay Festival. See you up in Hay. My name is Robin Morgan. Dear Chaval.